Today we're going to look at a training method in grappling where you can flow. You're, it's sort of like sparring, but you're, you're giving and taking. You, there are several levels to this, so you want to you know, try all of them. There's one level where you just go in positionally, and then there's other where you're giving a little more resistance, a little more, um, uh, more attack, you're going into finishing. And then there's a follow-up finish level where you're going one thing to the next and working your chain submissions. And your partner is both working against you and he's sympathetic to what you're trying to do. He's aware. He's aware of what you're doing technically. And that's, uh, that's a big part of what makes flowing work, is that you're both of a sufficient level that things meet up well. All right, if they don't meet up well, you'll know it right away, but the method itself makes you better at doing it. So if you're not so good at it, as you practice this, you get better. So I start off with Scott here, and can we just tie up and, you know, it's sort of the unspoken conversation of like, well, who wants to set up what? Whoever makes the first move, the other person sort of goes to this one here. He sees me pop an elbow, and I take it. He gives me a little bit, and so then I bring him out, take him down, and I pass him. But see, I'm waiting for him to push that off, and I change up, and I give him a little room. He gets his underhook, and he bumps out. So this keeps it moving. The key here is that they're, at this stage, it's, it's, it's uh, loose and somewhat easy. So you do give him little openings. Let him get that underhook from your side control. Let him, let him uh, slide out, turn under, and come up so he gets the single. And then from there, we'll work our, you know, a little bit of wrestling defense. And he'll either circle behind. I'll let my wizard sort of uh, give way. And then he's, got, he's behind me. Now he's looking at the back. I need a little bit of opening. So get those hooks in. Yeah. And now we start moving off to the side. And we're still not finishing yet. We're just working position and the transitions between trying to keep it uh, authentic, where it's not too loose, but it doesn't get hung up and it don't stay in one place too long. Okay, so we're not fighting tooth and nail, but we're also not just kind of gliding through. We're, we're somewhere in between. All right, like I said, it's the unspoken conversation that goes on. We're sort of feeling what each other, what the other person is doing. So I start to move, and he follows up. But I keep in the air, and I get my underhook. So now, again, I'm keeping things moving, because this underhook is my way out. He starts to pass. I turn and come up. I do get this one too, because now he'll start looking for sweeps, or whatever he wants to do. And then, right there, I'll start to move out. And I've got butterfly guard, I sit up, and now I'm setting up. Now what we're gonna do, now he puts me in the guard as I turn back in and I stand up and he catches my ankles, switch me back. You see we start to do this where I'm moving and it keeps going like that. He stands up, so I go feet to hips, up and over. And now we go to the next stage which is whether sweeping, passing, any aspect of top control or escapes leading to finishes. But it's just single finishes where I get them. So he is gonna feed them to me. All right, he starts to push up or something. If he's telling me, all right, that that's what I'm getting. All right, so I get this, he taps, he comes around. I might get a triangle, or he might then just shrug it off, drive in, and now he looks for this arm, gets his cross arm lock. He pops up again, he has about roots. And then he holds it, loosens up a little bit, but he holds it enough that I can walk around and bridge. Maybe he gets the triangle now. And then he loosens up. I protect this arm. Now he starts to rotate double plata. Okay. Okay. So now from here he lets that out. He rocks back, opens back up. And now here we are. I back away, he goes to the butterfly. But I, I crowd it, I get back inside. Alright? And now I'm coming out and through, and now I'm looking for him. So you see, we keep it moving that way. At that point, you're back here again. Just as you turn the wonder, I go and see there. That's why he, he waits a second so that I can get for that darts. Okay, so he's aware of what he's feeding me because when he's coming out from side control, he pauses when he's got that underhook, give me time to thread that arm through and get that dart stroke and work it. And then I'll get it just enough, he taps, and then I'll let him out. He comes up and we proceed from there. 
So like I said, there, it's very important that you both have a good grappling vocabulary, a good jujitsu and wrestling vocabulary, a good understanding, and a broad uh, repertoire, broad enough. Or it can be narrow, but you both have to understand it for the flow to really work.